Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes out of CoinGate, and Grayscale says no to proof of reserves. Here's why. While most exchanges are coming together to disclose their proof of reserves, this crypto firm seems to be on the other side of the fence. That doesn't, that's not a good sign. When you hear that they don't want to disclose that they have the crypto or money to say they have it, then that's pretty bad. Like after FTX, people are kind of questioning these exchanges out there. And yeah, but let's find out why, if they even have a reason this article. After the collapse of crypto giant FTX, crypto exchanges are rushing to audit their reserves under the influence of CZ. CEO of Binance first floated the idea of proof of reserves. However, Grayscale, a digital asset investment firm, cited security concerns and has refused to reveal its on-chain proof of reserves. Now, Grayscale security concerns. On Friday afternoon, Grayscale notified on Twitter that due to security concerns, they do not make any on-chain wallet information or confirmation information publicly available, whether it's through a cryptographic proof of reserve or other advanced cryptographic accounting procedure. The firm admitted that some investors would be disappointed by its decision to keep its reserve information confidential and that they were aware of the fact that after FTX's bankruptcy last week, crypto exchanges are currently pressured to provide more details about their reserves. Grayscale further stated that, but panic sparked by others is not good enough reason to circumvent complex security arrangements that have kept our investor assets safe for years. On Thursday, Grayscale's Bitcoin trust hit a record low, as did its Ethereum product. The first firm's payment company, uh, parent company, Digital Currency Group, is also feeling the heat due to having sizable exposure to the now bankrupt FTX exchange. Genesis, another entity affiliated with Grayscale, recently halted customer withdrawals in the wake of the FTX collapse. Now you can read more on the Genesis suspends customer withdrawals, but yeah, here's some Grayscale. Do their recent events and investors are understandably inquired deeper into the crypto investment in this thread where we have compiled additional information about the safety and security. So they're worried about security, but is the proof of reserves the best solution? Proof of reserves is an auditing technique used to confirm assets on hand. It's not something new as many supposed to be, it, suppose it to be. As crypto giants like Paxos and BitMEX have been using it even before the FTX fiasco. However, it was CZ who brought it to light during the ongoing drama surrounding the Binance FTX deal. Soon after, Binance started disclosing its reserves on Twitter for public view following this. Many other crypto exchanges, Viz, Crypto.com, and Huby disclosed partial reserves to bring in transparency to the sector. But in light of suspicious on-chain activities by the exchanges, primarily after disclosing their reserves, CZ warned investors to stay away from them. On the other hand, Summit Gupta, the founder of Indian crypto exchange coin DCX, argues that proof of reserves provides only one side of the story, and it also needs proof of liabilities to make it complete. So yeah, I agree there as well. But yeah, so... So, kind of questionable skill. Again, just always remember, people, not your keys, not your crypto. So if you don't have custody of your seed phrases, then you don't have any cryptos. You're trusting third parties, too. And yeah, after FTX, nope, I'm not taking any risks there. I learned my lesson by studying the even before that. There was also Theros Capital. And then before that, even before that, there was Mt. Gox. So there's been many lessons out there people could have learned from. So hopefully you guys get the picture. And rather, if you want to hold on to cryptocurrencies, Get it yourself. Get a cold storage wallet like Treasure or Leisure or download the mobile wallet Divi for self-custody. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this article. If so, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.